they were able to go and pray when they were supposed to pray. So we look at the word of God from the Bible to back up what we are seeing now. In Proverbs 22, verse 6, let's, let's uh, Mansa read it. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Yes. Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not stand from it. Amen. Amen. What is the Bible saying here? It says, Train up a child, not an adult. A child. Hmm? You see, um, if a tree is growing and it is tilting to the left and you don't give it support you know something that will hold it up so that it will stand straight and its roots will be seriously embedded in the earth it will tilt and then it will grow into a big tree and then any mild wind can bring it from the root down but if you give it a support the the, the roots will sink deep in the earth then the tree will be able to stand strong. That is all about child training. You train the child right from the womb. Mansa, as you are the mother who carries the pregnancy, you know, when the baby is in the womb, you carry the baby everywhere. To the market, you carry the baby. To work, you carry the baby. You are sleeping, you are breathing, you carry the baby. Hmm? And when we are eating, let me even put that. You eat and then the baby gets food from your mouth. The word of God is food for the soul. The baby is here now. I, I, I learned from medical science that at the, a certain age in pregnancy, when uh, uh, the baby grows up to a certain, the fetus in the womb grows up to a certain uh, age, it hears sounds. It can, so that it, it will know the father's voice, it will know the mother's voice because they are the ones around him or her in the womb at that time. So, if you, you maybe you are praying and then there is a movement, you put your hand on the tummy and then you say, baby, we are praying, so keep calm. The baby will lie to calm in the womb. So when it comes out, don't leave it, the baby in the room. When you are having, you are having devotion. Bring the child along. Put the child on your lap. Even the ones that are a little older that can make out um, certain things, you bring them out. Even if they are dozing, let them sit down. The one that is on your lap, as you are singing choruses, they will smile. As you are singing hymns, they are taking it in. So what you need to do is just to bring them. Whatever you are saying, they are hearing. Don't take for granted that because they are babies, they don't hear. They hear. And children learn by example. What they see you, the parents do, or any other person do, that is what they will do. So don't leave them out. Um, devotion is the word of God we learn. It is the soul's food. We give them every gadget. This modern gadget, we give all of, all of them we want to buy them for the children so that they will better their education or they will stand with their fellows in, in the same life. So why can't you feed their souls with the word of God? It is very necessary. Look at little Lisa. At the age of two, eh, she can stand in front of the TV and watch her cartoons and every song in the cartoon, she knows how to sing it. So why can't you teach Lisa the word of God and the singing and the hymns and the choruses, she will take that. And as she is, she is growing up, or they are growing up, they will take that. God bless you. My sister, Grandma is sweet. You're not real good. This is the time to plant the seed. There are different, different ways of getting a child hear the word of God often to, to, you know, to shape the attitude of the child. We have Bible audios, we have Bible videos, we have super stories. Go 
own stories that makes drama out of the word of God. And they need to know it so that the fear of God will take over their lives early enough. If not, it will be too late. Look at the kind of adults we have in our sight today. They are bad. This is the time to be hated. This is the time to be planned. Thank you.